Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about SAP ABAP module pool program with a simple tab strip with wizard concept. So this is a very simple concept just to understand the steps uh, involved in the module pool tab strip is what we are doing this session. So if at all, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to youtube.com slash jsrtech and make sure that all the videos uh, can be uh, seen, uh, uh, can be accessed by you all. So if at all, if there are any, any uh, niche uh, modules and uh, we have uh, very important videos, which we are going to share it with you, uh, if at all, if you subscribe to our channel. So contact us at training at jsrtech.com if, if you are looking out for any kind of training and uh, jobs at jsrtech.com for jobs. And you can also contact us for the server accesses as well. So let us understand first what exactly is Tabstrip all about. So tab strip is something where let's say we have a, a screen. Let me show you a screen. Let's say this is a, this is a kind of a main screen in which we have tabs here. This is tab one, attributes tab, delivery and maintenance. This is tab two, tab three, tab four, and tab five. So these are the tabs in which we have all the fields. So these are the tabs. So in this again we have a sub screen. We design the sub screen. So let's understand how the sub screen works and how the tab strip works is what we'll do now. So for this, let, let us go ahead and uh, uh, design a very simple tab strip control with using wizard. It's a, it's a very simple one where, wherein we'll do just C is equals to A plus B or something like that. That's it. Now here, we'll go for the program. Let's go here. Then you see underscore tab strip. Tab strip kind of a demo. You can call this as demo because it's a very simple one. This is not a real time project. Tab strip demo. And we, we have to take it, take it as module program. Say OK. So in the tab strip, we will just uh, de declare some fields here. Say for example, like uh, we'll go for n1, type i, and n2, type i, and uh, re result, type i. So this is what we'll do now, and we'll go for uh, this is this is what we are declaring in the program, and just activate this. And now, once it's activated, so we need to do a result re is equals to n1 plus n2. That's it. That's what we are going to do now. So we'll come out of it, and we will use it. We'll do it using the tabs, just to understand the flow of the tabs, how the tabs work. SC51. Go to SC51, and in the SC51, we just need to create Z DXC. The same thing have to be taken. Otherwise, it will not work, right? Z DXC underscore tab underscore strip tab underscore strip. And the screen number is something like 100 and create. So this is a tab strip demo. So in this tab strip demo, we'll go for flow logic and command this flow to two uh, modules, two modules, and just save it, activate. Once it's activated, uh, we will go for the layout. In the layout, we'll create a tab strip wizard. We'll be creating the tab strip wizard now. So in the tab strip wizard, we'll be taking taking uh, two tabs. Minimum two tabs is mandatory. Without two tabs, you cannot create a tab tab strip. At least two sub module sub sub screens have to be there here. So we'll go ahead with tab strip with wizard and select this like this. And once we select it like that, continue. And we'll have this as tab. Control. Continue. Then we'll create tab one and tab two. 
or we can say input input screen input and out so we'll select this continue so this is so for input and output by default the two sub screen sub screens with num number 101 102 will be created by default by the system continue and these these are the pbo and pas automatically it will be generated so if you want we can change the names but uh, as of now i'm going with the same names which are generated by the system so the two sub screens that gets created for the two tabs it will be 101 and 102 by default they are getting created now so complete and once it's been done we just need to save it and we are going to create just an exit button here so that we can come out of the screen whenever we want so we'll go ahead with the pb1 and we'll go with exit so the fct code that we have here is ext and save it back and once it's been completed the automatically some code gets generated here we just need to activate this uh, the, the the modules that automatically generated have to be created in our program so we we'll just need to uh, you know generate them in our program so now this this one is a, another one user command save yes main program yes okay so this also got created so other than this we'll have a lot of other code that gets generated here this all code got generated by default using the tab strip because we have used a tab strip with wizard just save it back and then we have this and this is active now this is activate activated and the layout is also activated now we have to go into the sub screens and design the sub screen so we need to design the sub screen. So first sub screen is 101. 101. And then change. Because we will not create, we'll change because that is already already created in the wizard that got created. So this is a 101. We'll go to the layout. Inside the layout, this is a sub screen 101. Okay. So in this we'll create we'll click on this uh, you know input input values, get from program. In the get from program, we'll select this n1 and n2 n1 n2 values we want to give it as input here okay so we'll give it as so we'll create it as we'll create it as so text one text one In the text one, we'll go ahead with the first number. Text two, second number. So we have these two, and then we'll save it. Save this thing, and uh, once it's been done, that's it. So we just want to give the first name and uh, then give some one more integer like text three. Enter in two numbers. Save it. Back, and then once it's been done. We just need to activate this. Once it's activated, we need to create these modules. So say yes. And this one. So we have this screen. Save and back. And the input screen is one. Have this save activate back and once it's activated and that we'll go for the layout uh, the layout is already been done right so we'll just go ahead go back and now we'll go for 102 in the 102 we just want to get the output 
Okay, so we are just say, understanding the flow of the program, program uh, how it works when we are using multiple tabs is what is our concept. So we'll go for change. It's already created. It's not we don't we can't create it because it's already created by the system. So this modules names will be exactly the same as what we have done in the 101. So if you double click on it, it will directly take you to the uh, take you to the program actual the uh, print the executable program. Once it's been done, we'll go for the layout. In the layout, we'll get the output. So we'll get the output. So we'll get RE as an output. This is the output. So output, how do we how we'll make the output is we'll we'll make the output as we'll make the output screen as display only. The folder, so we'll say output field. The output is not uh, output is uh, applicable. Input is not accessible. So we just want to out give the output. The sum of two numbers is we write text five sum of and we'll get this. Save it. Activate. Back. Once it's been done, this is active now. Back. And then we'll go ahead with our program. So in the program, by default, all these things are there. What we'll be doing is we'll just write a logic here in the code that got generated. See, here we have this tab strip one and tab strip two. In the tab strip 2, when you create a tab strip 2, what we are telling to the system is you just first, before calling the tab strip 2, you just calculate uh, RE is equals to N1 plus N1 plus N2. This is what we are writing, writing. And then the in the model output input, okay, one not 110 input, in the 100 input, in the 100 input, we will write this uh, exit command. So case, that's why you count. In case when when ext it should be in capital letters. Oops, okay, so reprogram. Save it. Syntax should activate. So we have written the logic here for n is uh, re is equals to n1 plus n2. When we are clicking the tab 2, this should happen. So we will have n1 and n2 value and we will get the n re values. So now let's create a screen for this. Let's create a transaction code for this. Set tab strip one Okay, so here we have this uh, tab strip zdxc underscore ts1 slash zdxc dxc underscore ts1. So we have this screen. This is the first input screen. So 10, 15. And when we go to output screen, we get the. Oh, I think I have given it as n1. Yeah, RE is equals to N1 plus N1 again. So maybe I've done a small mistake here, I guess. So it's coming as N1 plus N1. Let me sh let me check the program. Let me see the program here. Yes, 
here I have given n1 plus n. So it's n1 plus n2, right? So n1 plus n2 activate and then come out of it. So once it's been done, we can go back and uh, let, let me re-log in. I'm not sure if it will open up. If it's not refreshed. So we'll go for slash in. And we'll go for this. Z dxc underscore dsv. So we'll go for 10, 15. And then we'll go for this output. And we'll get the value of output as 25. So what are we understanding is just the flow of a tabstrip program. So how the, how the tabstrip with wizard gets generated. How the screens get generated. And how do we actually can access the values of one subscreen into another subscreen. So for understanding these things, we are uh, doing this program.